This episode is brought to you by Blunt Power. A smell strong enough to cover up even the strongest of smells. Egyptian musk. It's a particular scent that I had right there. So also was brought to you by Shea Butter Air Conditioner. Not only do I use it for my hair on my head, I use it to condition this beard that you see before you now. And it's also brought to you by 4K Sweets, delicious, extra slow burn, good times brand. If y'all want to sponsor me, 4K Sweets, 4K Sweets and Blunt Power, go ahead and sponsor your boy. Jump in the DMs, hit the cash out. Whatever we got to do, let's make it work. There's been a lot going on over here in the last month. Now I'm in Greenville, South Carolina. And I want to believe that it's just due to the pandemic, which is causing all the frustration and all the extra aggression and all the problems that's going on around right now as well as places being shut down, a lot of clubs and stuff like that. So you got one kid across the street that I know in his whole life almost in a way killed the dude that was staying with him, murdered him. Not murder, I ain't gonna say murder, but shot him, he died. I don't know the full circumstance on fully what happened 100%. And we don't know 100% what happened with something. It's hard to really just speak on it fully for you. You know what I mean? Like from an educated standpoint. Because if you don't know detail to detail, all the details, then you can do, the best you can do is give your opinion. After that happened, what we had the other day was a shootout. A couple houses down. With my neighbors, they had a shootout with some shit over some bullshit. I don't know what they got going on. It's crazy though. Stupid, man. It's the most. Like you in this closed neighborhood, like you got houses right across the street. You got old people and stuff staying in houses and stuff. Like this ain't. It's crazy. People don't understand how precious life is until it's gone. Dumbass people. We're gonna keep it lighthearted today. We ain't gonna go too deep on that, too serious. Your boy Trump got coronavirus. Now, you know, I'm gonna tell you who's getting a lot of heat on Twitter right now, speaking on the subject. Ava du DuVernay Ava DuVernay is responsible for re uh, filming what well, she filmed the um, like she made the movie about the Central Park 5 now I didn't watch the movie but I know about the story of what happened to him it's a sad horrible story but what it's all centered around basically is she wished Trump to get well Along with wishing Trump a full re healthy recovery, she along she said, "Yeah, he's a despicable man and this and that," but none of that come into play because, and, and it's crazy because first of all, it's like you don't you just don't expect certain people to say certain things. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to our people, we don't expect them to say certain things, and when they say something so out the out the off the wall for us to hear, it's like what? Uh, she wished him a full, speedy, healthy recovery. And that's not what the majority of people is doing. 
Now, although I feel like you don't have to wish death on anybody, definitely don't have to wish life on anybody as well. And alone, I don't know, in the way a lot of people making it seem, they're making it seem like she shouldn't have said nothing to begin with. She should have just kept her mouth closed. And you know what, to be honest, I agree. And that, on about that particular, that particular statement shouldn't have been said, because first of all, everybody know all the harm that Trump's caused so far. Like we know, uh, we know all the bad that he's doing. And we happen to know that the bad is definitely outweighing the good. Whatever good he's doing is being outweighed by the bad times a million. So, it's like some things you don't even speak on. If you ain't got something that's going, that, that makes sense, then just don't speak on it. I would have never said, yo, I wish Donald Trump a uh, uh, full, healthy, speed of recovery. Do I? No. Am I wishing death on him? No. Will I be sad if something happened to him? No. Let me tell you why. There's people dying every day. And he, every day he, said, he was saying uh, the pandemic is not to be taken that seriously. It's just a hoax. Y'all opening up, up states faster than they should be opened up. And people are dying, being forced to go back to work and then catch a coronavirus and dying because they had to go back to work early. Like, people, so many factors that come into play. And yeah, I'm holding them. It's crazy. Like, she fucked up saying that. I wouldn't have said it. You know what I mean? That's just me. I wouldn't have said it. A lot of people wouldn't have said it, apparently, because she's taking a lot of heat for it. I don't know how that's going to work out for her career going forward. The way it worked, though, they can counsel you. You'll get counseled, but it won't be for long. They'll counsel you for a second. They ain't gonna counsel you for long. So we're gonna see how that work for. Her. It was just a statement in a way, it's an opinion. You know what I mean? Something she felt like, her personal feeling for that one particular thing. They ain't saying that she a bad woman. It don't mean that she uh won't our downfall or nothing like that. It just mean that at that moment, she probably was on drugs and she didn't know what she was saying. So that's what we're gonna go with. All right, next topic. I'm still trying to see, I'm ready to see the Jamie Foxx playing Mike Tyson movie. I'm excited about that. I don't know how that's gonna work. You know what I mean? I think that they did my boy Michael J. White dirty cause Michael J. White a beast. You know what I mean? I don't know why they act like Michael J. White didn't do a good job or something. If anything, it must've been a, the production, the producers, or whatever, but she, they ain't like Michael J. White couldn't have did the part, but it's gonna be interesting to see how Jamie Foxx do it. Hope the boy be safe and keep himself healthy, try to do it along the way. I can't imagine losing 100 pounds or gaining 100 pounds for a road. And then you gotta look a certain way. So whatever they did, you probably gotta do it or something like that. I ain't trying to get pumped up for no steroids or nothing for no movie role. I want to be in some movies and some some production. Man. What do you gotta do in order to really get to that point? And that's something we don't really think about a lot. She, we probably just think it's as easy as let me read these lines, let me say it right, and go in there and boom, that's all it takes, man. They got a certain look they want, certain sound they want, you know what I mean? Certain feeling you gotta have, certain walk, everything you gotta match up right sometimes. Depending on what you're going for, how good you wanna be portrayed, or how good you wanna portray it. So she, it's like, I guess that's why they say you gotta pick what you pick though, accordingly. Don't take everything, you know what I mean? Everything ain't gonna be for you. What could I see myself in? Six, seven, three fifty. I think, movie-wise, what's y'all favorite kind of movies? I think there's a lot of people that, like, I think, you know what, don't get enough credit? Horror movies don't get enough credit and get enough play. Horror movies are good, but it's like they don't do them. I know they try, but it's just like something about, like, a lot of horror movies, just like they be missing something. I don't know what it is the older horror movies had, but these new ones don't got Hopefully the missing piece ain't something bad. Maybe it's a, what if it's a negative piece that's, that's, that was projected into the movie back then? 
that they can't do now, so that's why they don't seem to be as good as they used to be. Because I remember reading, like, on, um, what was that movie? Psycho, American Psycho, that woman that was on American Psycho. They really terrified her for real. Like, they they caught her off guard with different things. I think they made her stay up late and stuff like that. I forgot exactly what the details was. I need to go back and look at them and get the research. We had the research on it before I speak directly on where, what it was. But it's like a lot of the movies, they put people through torture for real and different things just to get the road down pat. So, shoot, I don't know what I'd be willing to do to get that road. You would think something simple. You would think even movies like Avengers and Marvel movies and stuff like that to be something simple. But shoot. Bank Captain, my bad Captain America and them like that gotta be starving on a daily basis. I ain't trying to starve on a daily basis just to look good to fit in no no tights. Make me a role that's centered around my body structure so I can be comfortable. That's how I feel. So I guess if I want that, I have to make my own character then and make it popular make it pop and then they be like okay look at this character he already that character let him be that character make your own character otherwise you got to fit into the little spectrum and you got to be something inside what they want you to be like if you don't know you see a lot of movies and you see characters black people playing positions or a spanish person or something person of color playing characters that don't fit per people of color but since the roles are so limited then they go and they do what they gotta do to be able to portray that character. Taking that movie Knives Out. I was watching Knives Out the other day. And that black dude from Knives Out. I forgot his name, but he a good actor. But Keith Stanfield, I think. He playing a British uh, cop or something like that, detective. That's a range to have to play. I don't think they had a mind for a black dude to be able to play a British uh, detective. I think that he just had to go out there and be like, okay, let me go out here and show him I can do that. Stepping outside the box. I can step outside the box. I think it's just crazy that that's what you gotta do in order to increase your range. In that sense, like you gotta really like, they don't make the roles for you. It ain't out there for you already. You got to go put yourself in that role and, and fit into it. crazy though I don't know I don't know how would I be a British if I was doing the British accent if I was a British cop like, you say you did not come to the building early in the morning but you addressed the letter to the chief inspector early in the morning am I correct Are you believing yourself to be true if you were to say that this is the side that you were on and this is the side that I'm on? Is that true? That's not, I don't know where. See, how you use it, how you do accents, it's hard to do. What's another accent? Hey, Mike, I think you go over there over to the pawn side and I don't know what, how you use the Australian accent? Good day, mate. Hey, good day, mate. I'm going fishing on the barbie. <laughs> fishing on the barbie. It's crazy. If you think about it, if you try to push yourself to do an accent right then, be like, okay, what's the accent? How do I do the accent for this? You can't do it unless you practice it on a regular. Or you can't do it alone. Try to act like a Spanish person. Hey, man. You got any... But do I don't be seeing Spanish people talk like the niggas from the movies. Hey yo, yo, you got some 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 pot, man. Yo, I'm chilling, man. You wanna go and relax with me, man, and go out there on the back and just smoke a J, talk about life, man. I don't be seeing them niggas out there talking like that. Is it, uh, maybe I gotta go to Mexico and see. They got them talking like that in the movies. Hey man, hey SA. Who told you to come around here? Huh? Like what? Doing the most. 
FKC. I believe that we can be great friends, you know? If we go over here to the mountain and we grab the bucket and we take the bucket to the top of the mountain, then we can get the water from the top of the mountain. I don't even know if they stay African the whole time. You be saying anything. I'm high, I be, I'm saying anything. Try to be an African and tell your girl, imagine being African. And you tell your girl, how do Africans talk dirty when they talk to their girl on the phone? No, now that I think about it. Hello, you? Hello? How are you doing today? Oh. Well, I was just thinking that I would come over your house later. Kiss you on your neck, kiss you on your back. You play with your boom boom. I know you would like that. <laughs> Do you want something to eat? Do you want me to bring you some food? I can bring you some food. I can bring you some food. Do I have any condoms? I can get some condoms. I can't imagine. See? Hey. How you make that? How you be sexy as an African in the African accent? Let me see how you be sexy in the how the movie Mexicans do. Yeah, hey, baby. Hey, mommy. Yeah, they do be cool though. They be like, hey, cause they be trying to use their Spanglish when they trying to spot and talk sexy to the girl. Hey, mommy. I'm so ready to see you. He's so excited. Ooh. You say you want to come to the clock of living clock oil, eh? I, I can't even do the Spanish shit. Trip. How you do the British? Ooh, how the British people be sexy to their girls? <clears throat> Hello, love. Well, I was just nodding, you know. I can't even do it. I noticed you have a nice derriere, love. Is that British? How do you do that accent? You talk sexy. How you talk sexy in the British accent? Ooh, fancy a cup of tea. Huh, <laughs> or a cup of titties. <laughs> if I do say so myself. What do you say you come back to my place? A bottle of wine, a bottle of liquor. We smoke a little bit of tree, and me and you. We get it going. I can't do it. White dudes though, white dudes. Hi, sweetie. Are you having a good day? Well, I was just thinking we would go out to the Angelos, have us a nice little margarita, <laughs> get us some salmon and rice, and then afterwards, perhaps if you were interested, we could go to the opera. Yes the opera and after we leave the opera if you're still interested we can maybe go for a walk in the park <laughs> do you like walks in the park mm. then after a walk in the park maybe you know if you're still into it then we can have a little nightcap and go back to my place and you know talk or something <laughs> yeah yeah. Alright, bye. Huh. White dudes. That's how they get their play. Black dudes, though. Maybe that's why people be having a problem with us. We'll be like, 
Yo, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. What you up to today? You busy today? Oh, word, word. Oh, you wanna get up with me later on? You wanna get together? Chill, do something. Get something to eat or chill, whichever, whatever you wanna do. Hit me up later on then, I'll get with you. Or I'll hit you up, whichever you want me to do. I, you mean I'm trying to talk sis? Which is my voice, girl. <laughs> Shit. You better stop playing, girl. You skip out and you just come over to the crib. Yeah. Shit, say less then. I'll see you in a few. Just got it. That's why they, that's what the problem is. We too smooth, boy. We too smooth, boy. <laughs> we too smooth. <laughs> or maybe I just was bad representation of different cultures. If that's the case, then let me know. I thought I did an amazing job. Next time, take a better hit though. Sponsor you, sponsor you by Red Moscato. Barefoot. Hope y'all not racist. Also sponsor you by Ten Dollar Bill, y'all. Hit my cash out. I accept 10s, 20s, 5s, 1s. If it lets you send change, you send me 50 cent. I take it. I've been watching the 85 South Show all day. I'm not playing. I watched the, the episode with them two girls on there. It was bad. I watched the episode on there. After it was with Country Wayne on there. And it was retarded. I wish I could make my eyes. I don't, but. Look at the eyes, shit, he be doing. Hey, I don't know if anybody know, but there's somebody in here that we don't know on the regular because I don't know him. He be doing some eye stuff. See how I looked over there with my eyes? But like, there's somebody in here that, 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 that is unfamiliar because I had never seen him before in my life. You said something's missing, right? Somebody stole something. Well, it may be somebody that we don't even know. See how that look? It probably looks stupid when I do it because my eyes regular size. This nigga eyes this big. So when he said, be like, hey, it's somebody over here. You said somebody stole your stuff, right? Well, maybe it's the person that we never seen before until today. <laughs> to today. Has Fuck Country Wayne though. Now I'm watching an episode him just Clayton on here talking about something. I don't even know. Carlos got on the Batwoods uh, hoodie. Batwoods, y'all better have sent my boy some free packs of Batwoods for wearing that hoodie. I gotta make an eye doctor appointment. I need some glasses. Sometimes my eyes be blurring in and out. Don't know why. It might be because I smoke a lot. I be chilling. Or it could just be because. I don't know. I need some glass. So, how about them cowboys not living up to the potential they're supposed to be living up to right now? And that might be because they don't got me. Big Gabe, 29 years old, six foot seven, 350 pounds. You know what I mean? 50% muscle, 50% something else. Nah, <laughs> I'm a beast though. 
you know what I mean? Opportunities, when they come to you, you gotta be ready. And I tell you that. Working out, training my mind and my body, I study my film. I'm an athlete, I'm a beast. You know what I mean? It's not over until it's over. So if opportunity come, I'm gonna be ready. Which it look like at this rate, because it's a lot of live and getting hurt. It's a lot of linemen that ain't that good, in my opinion. I ain't gonna say they ain't that good. The NFL's a different level. It's a lot to work with, other than just the field stuff. All I'm saying is, I'm an athlete and I'm a baller. So, if the NFL not so my dope, Dallas Cowboys, what's up? Whoever call me, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be ready. Chillin', man. Anyways, I'll probably drop another little something, something later on. Just wanted to check back in with my folk, with my people while I burn one. Well. Hope everybody have a blessed Sunday, a good day, stay prayed up, drink your water, you know what I mean? Do all the right things, be positive. Everybody that come in contact with you and everything, be blessed. That's what I pray for you. And today is God's day, so make sure you thank God today. And don't overdo it. Always watch your surroundings. Stop being so flashy. We all broke. We ain't Bill Gates. We ain't rich. We all broke. You know what I mean? Most of us broke at least. So stop looking at the next one that's on your level because they got something that you want. You ain't got it and thinking that they higher than you on a higher level than you got. No, they just got something. They got. They came across something. They got something. But they ain't no better than you. They still on the same level you want. Trust and believe. It's going to be days where they struggling for something and they need something. You know what I mean? We ain't good out here. So quit robbing from each other, stealing from each other, seeing what we got. Be like, oh, this man got a bunch of money. That's all the money that man got. You know what I mean? You don't know what might come up, what he might have to do. All that money going to be gone tomorrow because of bills or something. Don't be lit, follow feeding into the trap, and then y'all getting caught up. Niggas going to jail, getting shot up and stuff because you want to go ride somebody, steal from somebody. And then now you either you either dead because you went and stole from the wrong person or because you put yourself in a position worse than what you thought it was going to be or you going to jail because you stole from the person, you got what you wanted, but you ended up putting them in a bad position and you did something to them, or else you got away and you didn't know that you can go to jail for stealing regardless. Like, people putting themselves in bad position. Or you want to get hurt. Like, people people don't understand what, it's so much stuff out here that I don't see that can affect your life. Guilt or eat, eat you up faster than something, anything else with it. Y'all be taking from good people. Y'all go, go mess with good people. You know what I mean, there's enough bad and evil out here. But when you mess with God people and you mess with good people, that's when he step in. Regardless what you think going on or what you think is, in them, is good or bad, if it's God's people, and they ain't doing nothing wrong in his eyes, when you try to mess with them, you got to see him. And that's something that a lot of people think they want and think they ready for, but you're not. You think you just got to face the person that you did dirty to. Best believe that people that do me dirty have done me dirty. I've turned, I've, I've reacted to the extreme. And at the end of the day, I didn't feel better and I didn't have what I wanted. But now that I've grown, I realized to let God handle it, let God have it. So when people do me dirty now, if, if somebody does me dirty, I let God handle it. And you know what? He's handled it. I've seen him handle it. The guilt, you the person up. You know what I mean? That struggle hit them harder than they ever expected it to hit them because they thought that little bit of come up was going to set them up for better days when really it just put them back further. You seen good energy out, good energy will come back to you. Good things will come back to you. You seen negative energy out, negativity, then that's what's going to come back to you. You know what I mean? It's about even with your tongue. So be careful how you move out here, how you speak out here on yourself and others. How you act, you know what I mean? 